Uh, that's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. Did he take Master Roshi's nudie mags? A Seabad production. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. My name is Seabad, and I am stoked to be bringing you guys today's episode. If you guys... He looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's if you guys missed the last one, definitely go check it out. The description will be... <laughs> I'm reading the captions right now. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you guys missed the last episode, check out the playlist in the description so you guys can catch up on the... So you guys can catch up on all the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot goodness. I just love... Oh, and I love that these are... I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. Oh, is that a speed boost? Is that what that is? Oh, that's good to know. Okay, cool. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. Here we are. If you guys missed the last episode, check it out. If you guys are excited for some more, feel free to drop a like. If you guys are new and you guys want to check out more, feel free to subscribe as well. Oh, look at Krillin and Bulma. Goku, yo. Oh, and who's this little guy? They haven't met Gohan yet. This is so awesome. Meet my son. What? Yeah, you're so yeah. Wild, huh? Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's so Suits awesome. Him, don't you think? All right. We've unlocked reward. It's been forever since you've seen Krillin. Go talk to him. All right. What's up, Krillin? How you been, big dog? We want to fight? You want to scrap? Goku, have you been training lately? Well, Duh. not as much as I want to. Duh. I mean, I, I guess not. If I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taking care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, 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 nothing really. Hmm. I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. Get him, Master Roshi. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. That's true. He's got a good point. If you have something that needs to be done, if you need to practice and get better, daily activity. Be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. I can't argue with you there. Now, to make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Oh, we unlocked the Turtle School training manual. Okay. Come report back to me once you finish. So do we have to go training. do that training now? Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Is that what we need to do? Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. Uh, he's gonna go be a pervert someplace else now. Uh, we got soul emblems for Master Roshi. Cool. You got adult community leader Master Roshi and unlocked a new community board. Adult community? Uh-oh. In this community, you can activate community skills that aid in earning Zenny. Build up this community if you want to fill your pockets with extra cash. Okay. I was wondering, I was like, what is the adult com Oh my god, and it's got the, the girly mags underneath it. That's incredible. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love the little RPG factors they put into this thing. Venture to a blue pillar on the field or speak to a character with a blue icon above their head to initiate a sub-story. Completing the sub-story will net you experience, valuable items, and or soul emblems. Sub-sub-stories can only be completed at certain times, so make sure to do them when you can. Sub-stories can only be completed with certain characters. If you're having trouble completing a story, listen to hints and provided... Uh, listen to hints provided and change characters. Alright. Oh, we gotta go talk to Krillin again before we talk to... Before we talk to the turtle... All right, here we go. Let's talk to Krillin again. You want to fight now, Krillin? What's up? Hey, Goku. I know Master Roshi was talking about it before, but you know, training's pretty important, huh? I can't let all the strength I've gained go to waste, so I'm planning on getting back all into right. a serious routine. So what you're saying is you want to fight me? You? <laughs> Maybe some other time. I'm going to focus on some mental simulation training first. Mental simulation training? Oh, you mean where you do it in your head. Just try it sometime when you get the chance. What's this? <laughs> I guess you could call it a training keepsake. Oh, okay. Yeah. The great thing about mental simulation training is you can do it anywhere you want. <laughs> like this beach, for example. All right, All right, right. I'm going to give it a try. So this is where we get to do that image training that we did in the first episode against Piccolo. 
Let's go check out the training grounds here. All right, training, super attack list, consecutive energy blast. A manually aimed key volley with calming properties that makes it easy to connect hits. Can be used against uh, multiple enemies. All right. Try to learn consecutive energy blast. Oh, and this, oh, so we unlock these. Oh, that's sick. All right. Oh no, wait, what happened? What happened? Oh, oh no. To dodge and attack close range, press X just the attacking is about to hit. Form a step maneuver. Your opponent will enter a slow motion state. Oh, that's what he did. Successfully dodging an attack will feel your tension gauge. Dodging will help you offensively and defensively. Okay, well, it's not going to let me do that then. Oh, did he just run into that? Come on, Krillin, what are you doing? All right, let's just keep smacking the hell out of Krillin then. Oh no. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold that, you wanna to toss off Kamehameha waves, buddy. Guarding, you can guard defense by L2. You can even, yeah, even if you're taking damage from an attack, you can start guarding right away and take as little damage as possible. Guard for too long, however, you'll eventually have your guard broken. Press square while guarding to send a nearby opponent flying. It's called a burst. They can cancel your opponent's action and make it a great evasive maneuver. Press X while guarding an attack to quickly maneuver behind your opponent and send them flying. It's called a vanish attack. This is a lot of key, but it's a great way to launch a counter attack. Keep the pressure on your opponent by using burst at close range and vanish attacks at a distance. Oh, that's pretty sick. Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. That's right. Yeah. Eat it, Krillin. And we got a trophy. I don't know what kind of trophy we got, but we did it. You learned consecutive energy blast. Yeah. Sweet. All right. That should be enough training for now. Maybe I'll talk with the guys to get stronger. Talk to Krillin. Talk to Krillin one more time. Present from Master Roshi. Goku and Balma help a lost turtle return to sea. To his gratitude, Turtle introduces the two of them to Hermit Master Roshi. Master Roshi rewards Goku with the flying Nimbus and Bulma with the Dragon Ball that he wears around his neck. That's how we got Nimbus. Let's go back and talk with Krillin now that we've finished that training. Uh, he's got your looks, but does he have your power too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi-Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. Are you sure you want to continue the story? Not yet. Let's go talk. Let's do one of these sub quests here and see how that works. Let's go talk with Sea Turtle real quick. Yo. What's going on with you? You seem pretty beat. Yes. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Something's up. Are you hiding something? Uh, um. I, uh. Hey. Dang, Nabbit. He went and hid my book again. Uh, that's Master Roshi's voice. I don't know what he's talking about. Did he take Master Roshi's nudie mags? He's gone. Hey, Goku, have you seen that blasted hey. turtle? Tortoise? Yeah, but he ran off somewhere. Tortoise, are you seriously still calling him that? You know that's not his name, right? But never mind that. What about my book? That pain in the butt hid my book somewhere. What kind of book is it? Is it really that special? Uh, of course it's special. It's my most prized possession. If I don't have it, then I... I... Let's go find Master Roshi's book. <laughs> Let's go find Master Roshi's book for him. Well, if it's really that important to you, I guess I could help you find it. Really? That would be mighty kind of you, Goku. So what kind of book is it? It's a, a swimsuit photograph collection. Man, you haven't changed a bit, have you, Master Roshi? I'll search the attic. You look yeah. outside. You got it. All right. So we can probably use... Yeah. I gotta take care As Goku talk to people to find out more about the All photograph right. collection. What should I do now? What? You mean that geezer's filthy book? Like, I would know. Well, uh, you know where I can find Tortoise? You're looking for uh, turtle. I saw him heading towards the back of the house. All right, there's Gotta tortoise. Take care of some stuff first. There's Not tortoise. Me over here. Come here, bud. Hey. hey, tortoise. So where did you hide Master Roshi's oh. book? It's turtle, Goku. You should know that by now. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you where the book is. Master Roshi's read enough of that thing. He needs to learn some self-control, and that's why it belongs in the ground. Ground? Wait, he buried it somewhere? All right. So we... Take care of some stuff. And so now we need to. Nope, not here. Oops. Went a little too far. 
All right. So it's in the ground somewhere. Can we see it? Huh. It's it, it's in the ground somewhere then, right? Maybe. Aha! Dirt here looks like it's been dug into. Take a closer look. Is this where we hide? Is this where we hide swimsuit collections? <laughs> here it is. You found the girly book. Okay, that's what they're calling it. Yo. Here, I found your book, Master Roshi. <laughs> oh, you found it. You're the best, Goku. Yep. I knew I was right to take you on as my student. I'm counting on you to help me out when that troublesome turtle hides <sighs> us again. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Perfect. Turtle has hidden Master Roshi's book somewhere. So we got some experience. We got a D medal. We got book for grown-ups, an energetic fish, and some herb. Perfect. All right, now we talk to Krillin again. Do we... So tortoise... We're good. All right, let's go on ahead and talk back to Krillin. Let's continue the story now that we got all of the... Uh, little subquests out of here. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, is that Raditz flying in? Hmm. I don't even think Goku knows he has a brother at this point. Pretty sure. I'm I'm fairly positive he doesn't know he has a brother. I think he's going to find out he has a brother now. Well, let's see. Do we have to? I I don't know if it's just going to teleport us or if we have to take Nimbus over there. I like those. I like the orbs that we fly through. I wish they just kind of just cling to you a little bit more. They wouldn't have to just kind of float around and try to grab them, but most of the ones on the way to Master Roshi seem like they were pretty pretty easy to grab, so we'll be good. Let's go on ahead and see where it takes us now. Uh-oh. Yep, that looks like Raditz's ship. What is it? It ain't no meteor. There he is. Just in time on planet Earth. The farmer's got the gun. The farmer's probably like, oh. Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh. Who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot. He caught the bullet and just... Bing. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, maybe he went to go find Piccolo. What in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Oh, do we play as Piccolo now? Boost flight. Press uh, L3 when flying to boost a flight at high speed. Boosting consumes keys, so keep an eye on your key consumption as you boost. It'll so automatically recover when you stop boosting. Press L1 on the field or mid flight. You can detect key of nearby animals, plants, other things. Use this to find items, animals to hunt, dinosaurs, key items, food, training ground locations, and more. A great way to find a variety of far off things or something specific you're looking for, so use it when you can. While moving around on the field, press L1 to search your surroundings for key and detect where enemies are, how many there are, and where they're facing. Blue weaker than you, yellow just as strong as you, red stronger than you. Okay. Press L2 to enter first person point of view. On this view, press square to fire a key blast or hold the button to fire a charge key blast. If you hit an animal with a key blast, the stun it make it easier to catch. You can also hit train another obstacle to collect materials. Airways. You can find special wind tunnels called airways in every area. Traveling through airways is a great way to collect Z orbs. If you can enter one by touching the entrance or any point along the tunnel, once you're in, you'll automatically be carried through the wind. Connects an airway with boosted flight, but you won't be able to enter one while boosting. 
Phantom airways are rare airways that appear on the field. They not only contain Z orbs, more Z orbs than normal airways, but they are also rare types of Z orbs and items. However, they will disappear once you leave the area. So if you find one, make sure to ride it while you not can. Sure what this is. All right, what is that? That looks like something. It isn't Goku. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got a D metal. Oh, so I guess can we technically train his Piccolo here? Uh, super attack list. There's nothing on our super attack list to go for. Okay. But if it isn't him, then who is it? Well, now this could be fun. Oh no! Ready whenever you are. Let's oh no! This. Okay, I guess we're fighting skull robots now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, I was worried for a second. I was like, wait a minute. How is how is he still taking? Oh, that's really cool. You can just fight people like that? Okay. Okay, so we can look around and see more people that are flying around. Okay. Let's go on ahead and... All right, come here. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's come here, bud. This. Come here, bud. Hold this rapid fire wave. Consecutive energy blast. This is super attack which you use the L stick during an attack to aim at your opponent. Fire off key blast successfully. Target and opponent will deal extra damage. Two types of kind of attack. One in which you fire off multiple blasts as you move the cursor. One in which you lock onto a target and fire a blast. The latter is particularly useful for favorite accuracy. The target is smaller to hit. Oh, wow. That was cool. Okay. Oh, no, 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 You don't get to do that. You do not get to blow me backwards, Skull Robot. Oh, my goodness. All right. Perfect. We'll keep flying around now. Is this, this is it right here? Looks like it. Alright. Do we fight Raditz? <laughs> so it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk. I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. All right. Let's bring it. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. All right, we got this. Wait, what? 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 No, 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 no. That's not how this works. I'm going to break your guard then. Come here. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You can charge up all you want, bud. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. Come here. I'm going to smack you square in the face. Wait, what? No, 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 no. What? Am I supposed to win this fight or no? Oh, no. Come here. Come here. Oh, my God. Cyclone Monday. I hate it. There we go. Let's get a little bit of key. All right. Come here. There we go. Yes. I'm the best. 
All right, we got an A. Yeah, that wasn't a clean fight at all. I got smacked around a lot that fight. That all, huh? Is it my turn now? Uh oh. Time to show you what real power looks like. <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <laughs> He just said, he just said, Puck Piccolo, I'm going after Kakarot now. Oh my god. Where is he going? I mean, after getting smacked around like that, you know, you have to imagine that he's just like, eh, time to go find somebody better. Bye. Arriving suddenly in a strange pod from outer space, a mysterious man with a tail just like Goku's makes an unexpected entrance. Shortly after landing, he handily defeats Piccolo, one of Earth's most formidable fighters. I always love the power creeping in this in this series in particular, but in in shonen anime and shonen series as a whole. I always love how like like right now like Piccolo's power level is what three? What did he say? Three eighty eight. Like that. Like looking back on that at the beginning of this series versus where the series gets to. Oh, that's so incredible. Uh oh. Well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know who that is? You've got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. So what happened when I don't know if they'll touch on it, but I'll speak on it. So in Dragon Ball, the precursor to this series, when baby Kakarot landed on this planet, he hit his head. And he has no recollection of what happened when, when Gohan, Grandpa Gohan, found him. Which is why he gave him the name Goku. And that is, that is what's going on now at this point. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! Raditz just has so much hair. We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. Uh, if this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait, what about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. Eh? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. So when a you full moon is worst. out, Goku said it in the first episode how he doesn't have a tail anymore, but Gohan does. Saiyans that have tails transform into this giant monkey. At the light of a full moon. My name's Son Goku, and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here. <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to, because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space meteor. dust now, uh, including me and you. There are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot. Just his whole life. He's like, oh yeah, I've got a brother, don't I? The planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot. Think of the fun we'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up. If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look. Gohan's so terrified. Fine. Be that way. 
That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. All right. Not going anywhere with you. All right, bring it. This is a brotherly reunion, that's for sure. What the hell with this guy? Oh, you're not my brother. You're nothing to me. Yeah. Oh, now he's a level four fighter. When we fought with Piccolo, he's level three. Get out of here. Yeah. Into your tail. yeah. Why would you do that? Do you know what? This planet isn't half bad. I think it could serve as our next No, 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 no. You're not taking over Earth. You're not taking over Earth, buddy. You're not taking my son either. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Get out of here. No, don't say that. S rank. Okay. I'll take it. And we leveled up. Perfect. to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Goku's like, I just got the crap beat out of me and now my son's being stolen. Don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> oh, man. No. No. Gigi's not going to be happy. Oh, that's perfect. Right. We can use the dragon radar to find him. It's now or never. You're as good as dead on your own. Uh, everybody's going to be like, wait. Piccolo. Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah. You're probably right, but can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? He kicked the crap out of me. Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture, I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we got to join forces. Guess there's really no getting around that. Yeah, you got to use your 300 power levels to take him on. Precisely. Ah, could have got an S. Could have got an S. Okay. It's just because Goku's better than Piccolo. Bronze compass, silk apron, a book for grown-ups, fancy urn, and the sacred text of martial arts. Perfect. All right. We're gonna go team up with a bad guy. Wait, Goku, take this with you. Vita drink. Uh -huh. What's this? It's a quick acting recovery drink. If you're ever in a pinch, take a swig of that. Try setting a recovery item to your item palette. Okay. We will register this to circle. Oh, never mind. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Bulma. You better not die on me. Enough of this. Let's go. Right. Yeah, we're not going to fly anywhere. No, we've got a cloud for that. Piccolo will fly. Goku won't. All right. I love this transition. Earth's dream team to the rescue. I love it. Support characters. After progressing to a certain point in the main story, you'll begin to travel with and fight alongside other characters. These support characters can assist you in a variety of ways in battle. Don't forget they're there to help. 
You can have a support character perform a support attack, super attack, assist in battle by holding R1 to open the support pallet, pressing circle X square triangle to use the attack set to that button. Afterward, the icon will darken when you have to wait a little while to use their attack again. Using a su super attack assist will also fill the support gauge for that character. When a support character's support gauge is half full, the character will automatically perform an assist and help you offensively, defensively, or in some other way. What type of assist there they perform depends on the style they use. There are three different styles. Additionally, the higher the character's friendship is, higher the capacity for the support gauge will be. Giving a support character gifts from the community option on the solo stream will increase their friendship. Offensive support characters will prioritize attacking the opponent over anything else. They'll chase after opponents who've knocked away and perform super attacks in coordination with your own. Defensive characters will take actions to protect you during battle, including hindering enemy attacks and blocking key blasts. Special support characters restore your HP and key. They also have a slight chance of chasing after enemies or hindering their attacks like offensive and defensive types, respectively. You can now travel to other areas. Moving between areas, you can move to another world on the map. Access the world map by pressing triangle on the area map screen. Moving to the edge of the field or by flying high into the sky, the following information is available on the world map. Cannibal materials, D-metals, Dragon Balls, and substory. So you're telling me, head toward Luka Village on the world map. Go on. Just a little longer. So if we get high okay. enough, get a move on. Quit messing around. there we go, world map. Ooh, select an icon on the world map to move to that area. Main story destinations are indicated with red, substories are denoted with blue. Progressing through the main story will give you access to more areas that you can visit. Clicking on the icon on the world map will display obtainable D-metals for that area above the area name shown on the left side of the screen. East Ravine area has been unlocked. Perfect. So we need to go to Luca Village. Here. What's over here? Either way, we need to go head over here towards Luca Village. And we're going to be taking care of that in the next episode. Guys, hope you guys have enjoyed another part of our Dragon Ball Z Kakarot playthrough. If you guys have really like it if you could leave a like on this video it shows that you guys are enjoying this content it helps out the channel it it, it help, helps me out it helps me out so i'd ask you just click leave a like if you enjoyed you guys uh also if you guys are new feel free to hit that subscribe button as well for some more dragon ball z kakarot content all that being said i want to remind you guys to be great and do great and i'll see you on the next video later